Hey folks, Ryan here from Mr. Owls Gaming and I've got another solo playthrough video series here for you today where I'm going to be starting my journey through Rolling Realms with this brand new product, Rolling Realms Redux from Jamie Stegmeier and Stonemeyer Games. And this is fresh hot off the presses with a brand new way to play the game solo. And I'm very, very excited because it's going to give me an, an opportunity to now play through all the possible realms that I own. And I think that I own all of them. All, I think there are 63. If you got the original game, all of the promo packs and this brand new box that comes with 12 brand new realms to play through, I think there is 60 three different realms that I'm going to hopefully play through for you all across this brand new campaign of what they're calling RRR Ball. It's kind of got like a little soccer vibe to it where you can be promoted in leagues and relegated in leagues. And we're trying to score goals by trying to score more stars, more points than our automated opponents. So, Join me at the table. We're going to be taking a look at Rolling Realms Redux, this new mode. And this is hopefully going to turn into a weekly series where you're going to kind of follow me through all of the different realms. And let's see how high up in this uh, RRR Ball League we can get by playing through all 63 realms. I am very excited to do this. Okay, but before we do without all that, please make sure that you are putting likes on my videos. That's how we get discovered. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And that notification bell is going to be there in case you want to get notified every time brand new videos are going to be coming onto the channel. And when I do go live, I do live streams every Tuesday evening. All right. I've got things set up for our very first season. I'm going to call it season one, week one matchup against our automated opponent. Let's do it. Let's hop on over to the game area here where we're going to be doing Rolling Realms Redux, this RRR mode. And we are going to be starting in League 4. Okay, there are five leagues. Um, the fifth league is the uh, League 5 is the bottom of the league. Uh, league number one is the top, the, the championship, the premier. Uh, and if we can get all the way up to League 1 and win that one, we can. We would be the champions of RRR Ball. Now, how we're going to be able to set this up here is I also got um, there's ways to track it. Uh, I do have some cards scanned into my iPad here that I can keep track of things digitally in case I need to take breaks here every now and then because uh, I don't like using the paper copies and everything like that. So we are going to be starting in, they say here, we are going to start in league number four. So on this rankings card up at the very top there, I am going to write that we are in league four. And we are going to be doing week number one today. So we are going to be taking a flat. We are going to be facing off against team C, which is kind of like the they're they're the kind of like the easiest team to kind of take care of. So hopefully we can score a few goals today on that one. But we also have to see how did teams A and B do. You can kind of see they have their, their own little chart there across the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a single die and I'm going to roll this and I'm going to add whatever number I roll to whatever our league number is so right now it's league four so it's at least it's going to be a bit at least a five or higher so we're going to league four plus a one so we're going to look at result number five here and it says in that matchup team a scored three goals whereas team b only scored one goal so hopefully we can score at least three goals to keep in pace with Team A because after five weeks are done, we are going to tally up all of the goals. And if we have scored the most goals, we will get promoted to League number three. But if we score the least amount of goals, we would get relegated down to League five. And if we finish second or third, we would just stay in League number four. 
So that's how that little bit's going to work. So we're going to stay with We're going to keep on that. So we are going to be taking care of, we're going to be looking at C here. And I'm just going to hide that screen for a second here. And so the three realms that I randomly selected before this game here were Dice Throne, Micro Dojo, and a Feast for Odin uh, for ourselves. And we have to take a look at how many stars are we going to compete against uh, to try to score some goals. So luckily, the back of the RRR Ball Tournament rule book, there is a handy little chart for every single realm that has been uh, released. And there are a couple spoilers on here. Uh, <clears throat> Brass Birmingham is right there of some that are going to be coming very near in the future. So I'm going to be taking a look here. I'm going to find Dice Throne. And Dice Throne says we are going to be competing. Against, they got four and a half stars. And uh, But I got to take a look at the C's modifier. Yes, Team C here has no modifier. So we're going to be competing against four and a half stars against Team C on Dice Throne. So if we can score more than four and a half stars on that one, we would end up getting a goal. Uh, for Micro Dojo, we're going to take a look here. Micro Dojo's got four stars, it says. But Team C's modifier is that they take away a star. So we're going to be competing against three stars on Micro Dojo. There we go. And for A Feast for Odin... We are going to be, it says five and a half. Ooh, boy, five and a half. But C's modifier is they lose a star. So we're going to be competing against four and a half on that one. Okay, two, three, four and a half. Okay. And then also, we're also going to be competing against the total number of stars here so we're going to take a look at c here and let's look how many stars they have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then the resources they got point one so we're going to also be competing against a 12.1 on the that two didn't turn out very good did it a 12.1 on their total stars. So there are four goals up for grabs here in week number one. One for each of the different realms on left, right, and center. And there's also a goal for the total amount of stars that are available for us. So the max goals you can score in a particular week is Four. So let's let's go here. Let's try to see what we can do. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with Dice Throne, Micro Dojo, or A Feast for Odin, we'll just do a quick, quick little recap on these ones. So in Dice Throne here, we can use a number to fill in any number, any square here. Um, there's certain requirements on certain rows along here, like this one. The top row here says wants two equal numbers, three equal numbers, four equal numbers. Four numbers that are not equal, um, four numbers that are increasing in value by one, and then two fives, two sixes. What you can do here is you can put a number anywhere in here. And then you can also, at the same time, if you want to, you can cross off one of these top boxes here and place that same number somewhere else in the grid here. And of course, if you fill up a row, then you get the benefits for, for that one. Micro Dojo is kind of a, almost uh, kind of like a thing where you're just going to you're going to be spending your dice to cross off numbers, gain the resources. Uh, and then the second number, you're so you're going to mark off whatever the first one is, you're going to get the resource. But then whatever the second number showing on the dice is, you're also going to cross that number off if it's available, but you won't get the resource. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to cross off as many. You want to try to cross off all of these numbers um, as possible because you're going to get stars based on how many you're going to be able to fill out. Uh, and you want complete rows and columns um, as uh, well. And then A Feast of Rodin's got the little mini game of filling in the islands. Uh, so what you can do here is you can um, you know, spend the die to place that particular shape onto the islands, um, but then that shape is then no longer available. 
Uh, but if you roll a six, though, six is kind of like the wild card. You can use any shape you want, and you don't have to cross them off. Uh, off of there and so of course you're trying to fill in your there's three stars up for grabs for just uh for you know covering them up and then there's stars there's three stars available for filling in the complete islands as well and then of course whatever resources you you do can uh, uh, okay so now there's a little bit something a little bit different in the uh, rrr bowl um, depending on what league you're in, you actually don't. Sometimes you get more or less turns than the regular number uh, nine turns. Uh, for example, league number four, where we're starting here, we actually get a turn zero, where we get to roll one die before the actual turns uh, start. So it kind of gives us a little bit of a uh, a jump uh, to per se. So I think I'm going to do that right now. So let's do the first roll right there, and we oh we are going to get a six right away which could be actually really nice on a feast for odin because we could use that six as a wild it says use a six for any shape and you don't mark it used and rotating and flipping shapes are okay gain a bit so do you want i am actually going to use this six on feast for odin right away and i am going to copy this three shape that l shape only because that is going to complete this island right here here right away and that's going to also give me a coin and a pumpkin coins are good because they can give you extra dice uh pumpkins are good because they can allow you to adjust your dice up or down thing and then i'm going to yeah so then i used it and i'm going to cover up these three spots right there okay so that was my turn that was my turn zero now let's get into the regular turns where we're going to roll both dice here and we're gonna get a six and a four oh, six again means i could actually get going on this bit again over here uh or also i kind of want to start doing things over here for example for example i'm gonna use the oh gosh can i get a can I get a star? Well, oh, I can get a star with it. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna maybe allocate my dice like this, right off the get go. Um, so I'm gonna use a four on Micro Dojo, and I, that means I am going to mark off this star here. So I'm gonna mark off this number four, get myself a star, and then I also get to mark off a six as well somewhere, but I don't get the benefit. Uh, and which benefit do I not really? Is there a heart with a six? I don't. Oh, yeah, there is a heart with a six right there. Not really too big on hearts. So I'll just kind of cover that one up. Okay. Uh, and then the six again here is I'm going to use it as a wild to pick one of the shapes. And I think one of the shapes I am going to pick is kind of this one with the kind of like the four squares and the one sticking up because I'm going to use that shape and I'm going to use it right here to get myself a coin, a pumpkin, and a heart right here. Oh, and I also get a star. So just like that. I should also give myself another star because I had also completed this island right here. So actually, I already have two stars on a feast for Odin and one star on Micro Dojo. Nothing going so far on Dice Throat. And I guess I should have maybe more mentioned that that was my very first turn. There we go. All right, so let's go on to turn number two. Shuffle them up, roll them up. Ooh, two fives. Okay, so turn number two, two fives. Let's take a look at what we can do with a couple of fives. Well, maybe we'll get Dice Throne moving here. Um, and you know what? I, I'm thinking... Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to cross off a five down here, just like that. And I will cross one of these off. And I will put a five in this box right there. I think it might be easy to get different numbers across the way on Dice Throne. And Micro Dojo here, I'm, I'm going to put a five. So I'm going to grab a, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to grab another star 
for that resource. And then I'm going to uh, do another five, but I don't get the resource. And it looks like I'm going to do the heart over here. I'm going to do the heart up here. Okay, just like that. Um, now, I do have the choice here. I could spend, maybe spend some coins. I know that I didn't do... Um, I didn't do Feast for Odin, so I could actually create myself a coin if I wanted to. I could create a one-valued coin or a two-valued coin, depending on how many uh, coins I want to spend. But I think it might be a little early for that. So I'm going to keep it out of that. Okay, turn number three. A three and a five. Three and a five. Three and a five. Okay, well, I am... Th Three is pretty good for us as well. Um, I could use that L shape on Feast for Odin because I could fill in that last area. That would get me another star because I would have another island all completely filled. Uh, that might actually be a good choice here. And then this five, well, actually a five also as well over here to kind of keep that, keep that rolling. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put a five over here, add that, I'm going to cross off that five down there. And then I don't think that I will put, I will use a uh, five again. I don't think I'll cross off something up at the top there. And do I want to use a two value? No. Don't think, or a one, ooh, a one value die. Could come in handy. No. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, dear. Actually, I could cross off one of this to create a one-value die. And I'll just use another die from my other Rolling Realms game, from the original Rolling Realms game. These two purple ones come in the new Redux version. These ones come in the original. Uh, I'll create a one-value die, and I will put it on Micro Dojo uh, over here. And I will get myself a coin back. Uh, and that completes a full square for me. And now I also get to mark off one of these other uh, dice numbers in my thing here. So I can mark off a three or I can mark off a five and not receive the benefit. Um, and I think I'll just mark off this number five over here. Okay, and then that'll be that. Okay, so now we're on to turn number four. Oh, gosh, here we go again. Four and a five. Lots of fives this time around. Could have been going for all fives on here. I could have had a star already. Um... Four. What does the four shape do over here? I can get squares and I can get kind of like, oh, okay. And then fours. Interesting. Okay. I am looking at... I'm going to look at spending two pumpkins here. And I'm going to change this five into a six. Uh, only because I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to mark off one of these sixes right here. And I am actually also going to do this because that's another number, different number. And I'm going to put a six up in here, just like that. Okay. And now this four, I'll go down over here and get myself a coin. And then I also have to mark off a six somewhere. And I think the six that I will do is this spot right here and not get the benefit for it. But I did fill in another box. Hopefully we can keep it going. Okay. And oh gosh, now do I have the choice of do I want to make up? Oh, did I forget to... Oh, I wanted to do something, didn't I? Did I not do this? Why did I not do that? Hmm. I don't know why. Okay. I did something else, though, didn't I? You know what? I'm going to do it right now. 
just do it. I'm going to create a three valued coin and I will do, 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 mark off that shape that it's not available anymore. And I'm going to go one, two, three on here, getting myself a heart. And that completes another island. So that gets me another star. Okay, let's go on to turn number five. Uh, a four and a two. A four and a two. Okay, okay, I like it. Let's put... Oh gosh, I can do a bunch of different things here. I think I'm going to put the four over here on Dice Throne, and I think I'm going to put the two on Micro Dojo. The two on Micro Dojo, because I'm going to do this one. I'm going to mark off this two down here. That's going to get me another heart. And complete this area. And then I'm going to mark off a four somewhere and I think there's only one four left that's this one right over here and then over here I'm going to mark off a four I'm going to put a four over here and I th think that if I want to uh, three four five there are two three four five oh that's going to be hard to do um but maybe because I only just what I need one, two, three, four. I need five stars. In okay, I'm going to mark off this one. I'm going to put a four um, up here, up at the top. Just like that. Okay. Realize I probably could have been going in opposite order here. Um, and I think that is all I am going to do. Now, we have the ability now that we've gained three hearts. Um, two hearts if the dice are a pair we could use another uh three hearts um, we can spend three hearts to create another die it's one of these two values um and we are getting oh i guess i should have marked this off here again i'm so bad at that two and a four um mark off one of these shapes hmm oh dear yeah. You know what? I think I could do the four. If I create... Okay, wait. Let me just take a look at here. Or no. no I'm going to pay. I'm going to hold off a turn. I'm going to hold off a turn. I'm going to hold off a turn. I don't know if that's smart or not. Oh, <laughs> the exact same roll. A two and a four again. Okay, well, maybe I can go back here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Okay. Uh, fours are not going to get me anything on here. Two will, but fours will not. So we're going to maybe try to do something a little bit different. Um, I know that a four on here, though, if I go up at the very top here, four up at the top is going to get me a star and a coin. Because I got a completed row there. Um, and the two, the two. Oh, you know what? I, I should do it. Okay, so I'm going to put the two over here to get myself another pumpkin. And there's no more fours on here for me to, uh, that's why I can't use the second dice, but I do get this one. So now I'm kind of going for trying to get this box right here. Um, score one star for each, each for the first completed row and column of squares. All my, So I would be able to get actually two more stars just based on that one. I could also get another star right here with just a six. But also that would get me two more stars um, just for that one. And then if I could mark off all the numbers, I get an extra star. But uh, OK, so then I, I had a lot of the two and the four. And I don't know if I want to do anything more with all of that. You know what? No, I am going to create a one valued coin. Boom. Just like that. And I'm going to use the one square to cover up this area which is a star and so i just really just need i need one more star on feast for odin and i will score a goal there so i would have more stars and i really got i think i can get another goal right here as well 
Um, let's just try to get as many of these as possible. Okay. Uh, three turns left. Uh, okay, a three and a two. That's not terrible. That's actually pretty good for us. I really need another six, though. Okay, two and a three. Well, I am going to go with... Da, 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 da. Oh, gosh, three would be good over there. But you know what? Uh, 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 mm, oh, gosh. You know, okay, I'm going to put the two over here. I haven't used this one yet. Because uh, I'm going to put the two here. Because that's going to get me two more stars. And it also gets me one of each resource. A pumpkin, a heart, and a coin. And... Do I mark it off to try to get something else going? I only have two more turns after this. Yay, 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 yay. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, and then this three. You know what? I, actually, I'm going to put the three on Micro Dojo over here. I'm going to cross that one off. It's going to get me a heart. And then I can mark off a two somewhere that I am not going to get the benefit from. Okay, right there. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe we can create another die. If I cross off three hearts, I can get a... I can get a either a two or a three. Hmm... I am thinking, because I'd really, 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 really... Okay, no. This turn, or not? Ah, oh, no, not this turn. I keep saying it. It's not this turn. Not this turn. Not this turn. Let's just do it. Oh, there's a six. Oh, I really wish that was another six, but there's a six. Three and six. So here's my thing here. Do I go for... Oh, I can get... Okay, so I can get that over here. I can use the six. Definitely. Okay, yeah, definitely I can use the three and a six. Okay, so I can use the six right there. That's going to cross off this spot right here. It's going to get me another two stars. Perfect. So that's a goal right there already. That's nice. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, do I cross this off to put another six somewhere on the board? I don't know because there's only one more turn. It's not really going to be worth it. Uh, I think I am going to put the I am going to put the three here. Um, I can put I'll put the three here, and I will get myself a pumpkin, just like that. And I'll note that I have a six. I have to mark off this one. I'm going to lose a star on that one, but that does complete me a row, which gets me a star. Now I just need to complete a column. I just need to come if I can get a one right there. Oh, and I could do it this turn too. I could do it this turn right now. Oh. Okay. I am actually gonna do it. I am going to create a one value. Oh wait. Mm. What I actually could do is I could just create a one two, three. I could create a three value. I could create a three dice. I could create a three dice. And then I'm going to use... Um, then I'll use three pumpkins. One, two, three pumpkins to place it again in here because that's what you're allowed to do. And I will put it up here for a, another coin. And that's going to complete the column for me, which is another star. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go into the last round. Last turn. A two and a four. Oy, okay. Last turn with being a two and a four. Actually, not a great roll for us. 
Um, but either one, though, a four. I'm gonna, you know, I want to put a. I can't put a two or a four in here. I don't have anything to adjust. But what I will do. Okay, wait, wait, four. Could I do it some way? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the four. I'm gonna use this shape up here. I'm gonna go. Oh wait, how does it do it? One. Two, three, four gets me a star, a coin, and a pumpkin. Oh, I don't have enough pumpkins to adjust the dice. Um, but I think, oh, do you know what? I think I'm going to put a two. Oh, that's actually not going to work. That's actually not going to be anything for us. Shoot, I wish I could adjust. I wish I had another pumpkin. I wish I had another pumpkin to do some adjusting here. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use the rule. I'm not going to use this dice. I'm going to forfeit that dice, and I'm just going to grab a resource of my choosing, and I'm going to grab myself a pumpkin. And then I am actually just going to, I'm going to grab myself a, well, it's actually not even going to help me. Dang it. Yeah, no, it's not gonna, I, I was thinking about creating myself a one value dice with the coins and then adjusting it. But I think just a one value dice would actually go over here and mark off a one, but I don't have another one to, oh, wait. Oh, wait, I could actually wait. Okay, hey, 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 this is going to be, this is going to get crazy. Oh, no, I, I don't have the pumpkins to, to do it. Or can I? Is this, okay, somebody tell me if this is legal, this very last move. I'm going to create a coin. Boom. I'm going to create a coin, a one-value die coin. Boom. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to cross off this one here for a pumpkin. That completes this. Now I am, and I don't have another one, but I'm going to create a, another one valued. With spending that coin, I'm going to spend a, get another one value, dice, and I'm going to spend three pumpkins, one, two, three, so that I can adjust it plus, minus one, or zero, and put it in the same realm as Micro Dojo. So I can get that one there, gets me a heart. And it also makes sure that I completed all of those, which means I get another star because I've completed all, I've circled all of the things. I just missed out on the one star that I couldn't get there. But that could be important for total stars. Okay. And then that, yeah, that's, that's going to be all of that. So now we are going to go here and see how many goals did we score here. So first off, how many leftover resources do I have? I have one, two, three. I have four leftover resources. So with four leftover resources, I'm going to have a point four. And then how many stars did I get? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I got fifteen stars, so I got a total score of fifteen point four. Now, how many goals did I score? Well, I got goal here because I got five to their four and a half. I got a goal over here. It's five to their three. And I got a goal over here that I got five to their four and a half. And I got a goal because I had the most total stars compared to them. So I actually scored the maximum of four goals and Team C scored nothing this particular week. So I'm going to update that. So I'm going to have four goals to their zero goals and there's our results after week number one using dice throne micro dojo and a feast for odin i really hope that last move was legal because that was actually huge for us but uh let me know and that is week number one so leave a comment below or do you think that I am going to promote myself in this particular league after five weeks. Let me know. I would be really interested. Um, have you picked up Rolling Realms Redux as well? Uh, what are your favorite realms? 
so far. All right, folks, my name's Ryan from Mr. Rouse Gaming. And as always, make sure that you are putting likes on these videos, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. All righty, folks. Well, join me next week where we're going to take on week two of Rolling Realms Redux, this RRR ball. Let's hopefully we can keep the good times rolling. All right, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, or evening whenever you decide to watch this video. And as always, thanks for watching, y'all. Cheers.